Hello dear students, in this session we will derive an expression for energy stored in a capacitor which is uh, very important for board examination as well as uh, NEET and CET. We will consider a capacitor of capacitance C. So here we have got a capacitor whose capacitance is C. Uh, in the process of charging, initially the charge in the capacitor will be zero. Finally, the charge will be Q. We will consider an intermediate situation, okay, intermediate situation wherein the potential is V prime, okay. So in this situation, if we uh, use the formula of capacitance, Q prime will be equal to Q is equal to CV from the equation Q is equal to CV. We can write Q prime is equal to C into V prime because capacitance is a constant, okay. And at this intermediate situation, the charges in each plate of the capacitor equal to Q prime and the potential difference between the plates is V prime. So these are the initial conditions. Now, in this situation, the work done by the battery, okay, in transferring an additional charge, dQ is given by, we know that work done is equal to charge into potential, okay. So we have to transfer a very, very small charge, dQ. So that is why we need a very very small work done so that dw is equal to charge into potential okay dq into v prime because at this intermediate situation what is the potential potential is v prime okay so work done equal to charge into potential or i'll write this equation as uh, dw is equal to v prime into dq or i'll make a substitution for uh, v prime so we know that uh, Q prime is equal to C into V prime here, okay. Therefore, I can write V prime is equal to Q prime by C into DQ. DW is equal to Q prime by C into DQ. Therefore, uh, the total work done, the total work done by the battery, by the battery, in charging the capacitor in charging the in charging the capacitor in charging the capacitor from from 0 to q means initially charge of the capacitor is 0 finally charge of the capacitor is q so what is the work done by the battery how to do that so total work done w equal to integration of dw between the limits 0 and q but what is dw dw is equal to q prime by c into dq between the limits 0 and q now uh, we have to do some simplification here we know that uh, <coughs> integration of x with respect to x okay is equal to so here x means there is x power 1 correct now x power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 so that will be x square by 2 so using this concept Okay, integration of Q prime with respect to dQ, see here C is a constant, therefore I can take that C outside 1 by C into, okay, integration of Q prime with respect to Q is Q prime square by 2, Q prime square by 2 between the limits, between the limits 0 and Q. Now what we have to do, first we have to apply the upper limit means in the place of q prime first i have to substitute q then i should put a minus symbol then in the place of q prime i should substitute zero so what happens 1 by c into q square by 2 q square by 2 minus zero because lower limit is zero so entire if you substitute to zero in the place of q prime you get zero so what happens work done will be equal to q square by 2c this work done okay this work done by the battery gets stored gets stored as potential energy potential energy of the capacitor of the capacitor therefore potential energy of the capacitor 
electrostatic potential energy of the capacitor is given by Q square by 2C. Electric potential energy of the capacitor is given by Q square by 2C. Now, uh, using the equation, so now here the derivation is over, completely over. Okay, here the derivation is over. Now, using the equation Q is equal to CV, you can write the different forms of, the, of this equation. See, for example, this is uh, for entrance examination point of view, U is equal to Q. Q means C, CV, substitute C square V square divided by 2C. Say so 1C and other C gets cancelled. So, you get electric potential energy equal to half CV square. So, you can also use this equation depending on the situation.